Naval Academy. And the boys academy that you're trying to bring up. Then this is a waterway from the ancestral uh, oral tradition that we know all too well about from the Africans lifestyle, from their genius, from who they are here in this country. Yes? So, uh, let's see where we are with this. Okay. Yeah, let's just deal with this. So we're going to play those games. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, in that African genius, I've been dealing with it, the water, and Marcus Moselle, Gar Moselle Garvey used ships, or by the ships, and he was, uh, you know, crossed up, backstabbed by people in the organization. So, uh, we can bring that to, to fruition right now. Okay, and just like you said, uh, we have so many stitches here in our culture. And right here in Little Rock, Arkansas, it's an issue, it's a huge issue here. Everyone wants to be a snitcher and all of that. Every, so, so which means what? That we are powerfully doing something that uh, they're trying to stop. That we have the uh, knowledge and understanding of what it takes to teach the people. Okay? We can go to George G.M. James, one of your uh, original uh, 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 legacy, stolen legacy books that we read about and people went to the library to understand about the Africans sitting in Egypt, which be you know, one of the biggest things they talked about was Egypt uh, and all of that in Africa uh, back in the day. And he taught school at UAPB, University of Oxford Pine Bluff. And uh, UAPB is a place where the first train was built, was made. See a transport, transport, transporter, transportation. Everywhere I live, I've lived around lots of traffic, transportation, I'm a transporter. And now I'm speaking of water, waterways, African ancestors, okay? And most of the communities that we've lived in, uh, it's now some of the most richest places on the planet. And all the projects that we lived in have the airplanes, trains, 18-wheelers, uh, uh, any kind of transportation, the roadway, the rivers, all of that to get the goods in and out of here, okay? And we have the uh, cargo planes here right now, the C-130s, or here, the most of it in, at the Air Force Base, okay? So we see these things going on, and you hear me speaking of them in a legitimate way, in a business-minded way, in a so-called spiritual way, in a very powerful uh, humanistic population uh, moving way, because we've done that. And right now, today, the area we grew up is the International Airport, Bill Clinton International Airport. And he was once the president, the president right here in the state of Arkansas, Diamond Mine, I'm always talking about that, the pressure that we're under, and the things that we go through, uh, we always come out on top, okay? We have people like Nolan Richardson in sports, the only championship uh, that we have in uh, basketball. But let me uh, say this, though. I heard Jerry Jones, they say he won a national championship in his Hall of Fame speech, so they do have a football national championship. And he's one of the guys that employs a lot of black people. And as a matter of fact, uh, that, the black quarterback right now from play for Mississippi. You know, Mississippi's suffering right now. So just as he recruited Troy Aikman to change their team around, this brother changed their team around right now as well. And the Subaru plant in Mississippi is having issues with uh, jobs and all of that. So that's another transportation method that's being used to control the people, okay? So all these things are here right now. So again, I'm using as many things as possible to elevate our thinking, our, our motivation to help one another in every way possible to show 
that we've done the work, okay? So my brother Patrick was the administrator of all these things, and I was just the spiritual guide, the one that always uh, was there to make sure it got done, whatever he wrote or whatever he needed to see. My presence it ensured us that, okay, it was going to be okay. Uh, all of that, you know, okay? So, uh, in this language, so that's why I'm able to use this language. Because he dealt with the Africans on their trail, on their travels much more than I did. Made sure that when they came through, they had the money or when they were coming through, he made sure they, they had this and that, what kind of beads, what kind of uh, uh, necklaces, what kind of art, all the, the books, everything that they needed, he administered it quite uh, amazingly to the point where we were the only game in town. So you had to take some risk. High risk, there was high reward for the state of Arkansas, for black people, regardless of the success in numbers and dollars and cents. And uh, But it was truly successful in the spirit of people, because people right now remember that all over the world. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, what's that magazine? Every Man magazine, Every Man featured us several times in their uh, one year annual thing, was the biggest one that year that was all around the world. And Eddie Murphy was on the cover of it, one of them, Every Man. And so it was, we wanted the hot spots across America because down south, this was one of the places to go to get food culture and happening okay we were one of the few places in this area that you can do that okay so uh again uh i'm speaking this language to see if you guys can make it happen and uh george gm james stolen legacy um uh on his way to memphis died in a so-called car accident car crash on his way to memphis and all of that. And again, Memphis is where same amount of miles that Egypt is so-called from Africa, separate from Africa. They say Egypt separate, but that piece of land is the same distance in all of that direction. And people we used to talk about that all the time. Egypt and that portion of land into Africa is the same thing. And we have the pyramid in Memphis for a reason, which is very powerful right now. And we know who bought the pyramid down in Memphis um, at this boat place. I can't think of the name of it right now. Let it come to me. I'm sure it's going to come to me soon. And uh, that's going to allow that to happen. So, um, uh, but yeah, this thing is magical. What I'm speaking of. It's magical. And you brothers need to make this magic happen. There are magnetic, energetic men and your uh, energies in the field of education for the children is unmatched. You can check him out. He's been in Harlem book fairs, the biggest things for the black people. He's worked for uh, the brother in Chicago, Haki Matabu for years, helped run his operation, all these type of things. So his administrative skills are evident and elite unlike any other and as a matter of fact so much so that you know I used so much your back his back is kind of giving him problems because he would dedicate himself he would suffer the consequence of sitting so much to get the job done and I understand it about him we we don't always work great together because of my elusiveness and his straightforwardness doesn't match uh, the uh, Things that are going on in society, okay. So, but they, uh, we all know, family always uh, works things out, and, and the older brother always knows best, and the younger brother has always uh, looked up to the older brother and gotten the teaching. And I've never disrespected that. I've never cared for much of how he does things or whatever, you know. Or, not how I do it, you know, it's what you do, I'm not like that and all that. But what I do respect is the administrative purpose. 
that is given. So, yes, Umar Johnson, you are you need his administration duty and he needs your cash, your money to move forward. And why I'm saying that, why don't you think about bringing the school here to Little Rock, Arkansas? I think this is a perfect place for that school in the fact that we stepped up and helped to keep George Washington Carver Elementary School together. It seems a small item, but that's where things start, small, right? You know, so like a, anything, sand is once a, a mountain, was a planet at one time. So uh, we know the star system, the Dogon, the naked act, and can tell you what the solar system is serious A and B. Okay. They just found out about it, 1950s, with a telescope, powerful telescope. But we can tell our scope of distance. The interstellar fellas that cannot outdistance us never have, never will. Okay? So that's where I am with this. And this is my plea arrangement for you all to get together. You can get that school here. My mother uh, challenged the school system. Houston Mifflin won that battle for autistic children and all of that, how they are putting children as being autistic based on ridiculous methods and, and all of that. So we have that, that thing to change the uh, landscape. Okay? And I have a great landscape uh, panoramic view behavior with the earth and uh, beauty of life, all of that. So uh, when you come here, you'll be able to see the benefits of it all. And the lifestyle and the cost of living is much cheaper here than it would be anywhere else for the parents to be able to bring their children here. You see, things don't cost. The, the cost of living is much less expensive here, and you will get a much more... Uh, participation from the people because uh, sometimes uh, loathing and this, this behaving is, it has an opposing factor that is greater than anything that we could ever think of, okay? So uh, this is what I'm bringing to the table. To asking you guys to get together, I don't know if you all cross paths or anything but yet, I think that when you all get together, it would be a dynamic situation for you all to do. And you all would shake it up and we'd make it huge here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Because the educational system here needs such a thing to tower above what's going on. And it could be easily set up. It would, And the things that you say that we need and all of that is here. It is here, the closing of the schools and all that. It's not as issue is here as it is in other places. The population isn't so large here. So the small number of people will get the school filled up much quicker and we don't have to have so many people left out because we think, oh, there's so many people. We would be able to incorporate more people based on the small uh population here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay? So we have all these factors going on for it, and the state is growing and is looking for these things to come about. Okay? So we can challenge the, the system. We can challenge ourselves, most of all, and to make it happen. Okay? Uh, I've always uh, spoke of that and seen the spiritual energy essence of it all. And you can see the things that they're trying, and you, they know who I am, what I'm capable of. So that's the beauty in that. All right? And that's the beauty I want.